inside yourself when you have all of the world inside. Why would you look outside yourself when you Good morning everyone. It's 6.45 a.m. This is as early as I've ever been up, I think. <laughs> it started thundering and raining last night. Uh, so it was very, very, uh, it was definitely a noisy night. But for some reason I had no trouble at all sleeping. I just enjoyed it. It was like listening to nature and yeah, it felt very safe there, even though it was very open. I mean, there's no walls on the space. We still weren't hit by the rain. It was just uh, an amazing experience, really. Now, it's it's morning here at Mamon Island. I woke up to the sound of one of the, um, one of the caretakers here. I'm starting to make breakfast, so I'm really excited. So today, the plan is that we are gonna cross this channel. We're gonna go over the channel to this island and there's a hike that we're gonna do up to a lighthouse that I'm really really excited for. I've been seeing some photos on that before online and I've saved a little bit of battery on my drone so I'm gonna also try to show it to you guys when we're there. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good day. I'm stoked to have you guys along. Oh. This is definitely so far an experience that I would recommend 100%. Before breakfast, me and Ave, we've been deciding we want to go and check out the local village. Mm -hmm. Which is right over here. A couple of seconds ago, we had six baby pigs running through uh, the property. I wasn't able to capture them on the film, but it was a very cool sight. And they're hiding in the forest somewhere because the dog went crazy. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we have discovered the pigs again. Finally, Ave didn't search for them. There they are. See, I wasn't lying earlier. <laughs> this cool little fella is gonna grow up to be a cool dude So what I like in the Philippines is that you know sometimes the Animals and uh, even dogs and humans they all live together. It's just like more in harmony than back in Norway Here are the pigs So cute these pigs Oh no, yeah, they're eating up there. <laughs> Over here, the locals are having a volleyball tournament this morning. Whoa, yes! But the biggest sport here in the Philippines is basketball. Yeah, mm, but uh, uh, basketball and volleyball also. Okay. This type of hot oven, can you explain the material? It's made out of coconut. Uh, it's made out of coconut leaves yeah. and bamboo, right? Bamboo and coconut. Um, <laughs> yeah, bamboo, coconut. Yeah. Trunk. Yeah. Wood. It's very well done. Yeah. And then you see some houses are lifted off the ground. Yeah. But in a country where it rarely rains, like today, we've been here for three months. It hasn't been a lot of rainy days. Yeah. But in a country where it's not raining that much, you don't need more than a house like that. Just a place to sleep. You yeah. can spend most of your day outside mm. and that's I think that's what a lot of the locals here are doing. Mm -mm. Oh, can you film me testing this one? What's this called? <laughs> yeah. I can do it. So you can, I uh, know, bring a lot of luggage with that. That's smart. Yeah. Like it. It's a DIY. Do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Ampaleya, eggs, rice, traditional Filipino breakfast, coffee, wooden plates, super cute. 
It's raining a little bit more now, but hey, we're having a great company here. Adventure time after breakfast. They were heading over to the other island, which is named. <laughs> insert, insert. <laughs> What's the name of that other island? No, no, no one? All right. Well, <clears throat> we're heading over there. There's rumors of bikes, which I'm very excited about. Um, there's supposedly a barangay on the other side of the island, so we can bike there. This is a pilot project that's never been done before. Uh, so we're excited to test that out and to give you guys some feedback if it's worth doing. All right. Wow, such a cool girlfriend I have. Look at this. I think that hat really suits you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for giving it to me. Hi. Lily Avel. Lily Avel. What do you think about that? Amazing. Yeah. You want to join my thumbnail? So what's the name of the island we're going to? Uh, La Hanusa Island. La Hanusa Island. There's two barangays in the island, so we'll visit both. Nice. Do you know the names of the barangays as well? Barangay Suyangan and Barangay La Hanusa. Uh-huh. Over there, guys. Heading over. All the fishermen have their boats line up on the beach. It's high tide now and they're probably gonna go out fishing. I love the colors of these boats. Here's how they build these boats. Nice. Here we have the island bikes. I love this basket in the front. So they're borrowing us these and we're gonna bike to the other barangay. This way. The biking adventure has started. I don't know. How is it, Annie? <laughs> How is it, Judd? Hello. I want a bike, Martin. Yeah, I think we should get an island bike. I need to crash. Look at this house, guys. So nice. This is so much fun, this little biking adventure. I hope she makes this part of the itinerary because it's really, really nice. And I could recommend it already. It's refreshing. No, it's really refreshing and I think biking does something with you, right? You're just free. There's no sound of an engine. You still get some wind in your hair. And then when you're biking through places like this in the Philippines, palm trees and you know, that, that you meet really makes you appreciate life. So right now we're biking full speed towards the other bar and guy. Hi guys. Love it. I know there's a lot of Swedes and Norwegians that have done the bike trip on the Kostru Islands in Sweden. This is very similar. You're just biking on uh, nice paths through these barangays. Look at this. 
Hello. The aunties of Shargao. The aunties of Shargao. Yeah. So if this sounds, if this looks interesting to you, definitely consider it when you come into Shargao. Yeah, I never heard about this before. Even describe how nice this was this is I've never done this in the Philippines before and I had not expect that it was gonna be so so nice I mean, because there's no houses on that little road it becomes a, a nice little path hey guys hey. Hey. you go fishing yes. cool we made it to the barangay whoa what that Donut. Turn around for donuts! Donut time! What did you say? Donuts. Twisted. Like Whoa! Classic round donut. Hey, Chef. Mmm. Okay, so now we finally made it to Barangay La Hanusa. I decided to go by foot and let the others bike a little bit. That way I can film a little bit of the vibe here and show you what it looks like. Island home. Is the sun in the shine? Is it open? <laughs> and here you can see they're drying fish. In the shine. Says it open. Here is someone sorry sorry someone. In the shine. Nice bike. Is it open? Too much pressure. In the shine. Says it open. Are the earth? In this sing with the mountain <laughs> with your bones <laughs> all the earth and they sing with the mountain Elbon, all the earth cemetery beach one of the few places in the philippines you can be buried with a view bones, the earth, and they sing it's actually a very beautiful beach by the end of this road why would you look outside yourself when you all of the world inside Go to Shargao after the lockdown You should definitely do this I agree <laughs> All All the world inside. <laughs> Island Uber <laughs> Island Lift All of the world Is a space that creates Beautiful. Hello, am I so, I'm so wet. So I'm wet. so stoked on how much you like this bike. Yeah. I love it. I found an exercise while I'm here. Yeah, something that's, you know, mm -hmm. fun to do, not too much. Yes. So we took a sharp right turn and we're heading for that lighthouse. Now we're exploring the farm, going through here. It's like a tunnel of vegetables. <laughs> wow, look at this. Guys, I've been tasked with a very important task today. I've got the straw hat on me, officially a farmer, and I'm gonna harvest a calabaza. 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 This is. Yeah, I will try to get it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's harder than I thought. Careful, huh? Whoa, like a true <laughs> farmer, huh? Very good. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> so now we left the bikes behind. And we are going to actually go see the lighthouse now. And I'm really, really excited for this. 
And here it is, the lighthouse. It was a little trek getting up here. And that's probably the most I have been walking since lockdown. So I could already tell I'm out of shape. But hey, let's, let's go up this thing. I need to go to the top of this lighthouse. It's not functional anymore, but it's located on the top of the hill. It has a very good view. And here's the staircase. Round and round. You can tell by when we're walking up here. Oh, that is really beautiful. <laughs> oh, this view is so crazy. Look at this. Top of the lighthouse. Got a 360 degree view. Really beautiful. And Sonny is out droning me, so I might be able to exchange some shots with him. <laughs> Time to take that shot. Oh, I was recording the entire time. Okay guys, it's time to head down from the lighthouse and head back to Mammon Island where we're gonna have lunch. This day has just been so blessed and I'm so happy to create travel related and adventure content for you guys. So comment below if you're stoked about this and if you've been inspired to travel more yourself. And I mean, I can't wait for you guys to book tickets here once this whole thing is over. I hope that we're inspiring people to travel to Shargao Island. Oh, <laughs>